Pwede ba ang mag-fasting ang taong merong GERD or hyperacidity? Yan yung sasagutin natin in tonight's live. And we are live here in Bayoki Sky Hotel in Bangkok. And this is Low Carving in the Sky. To answer that question, I want you to know na ngayon, I'm already at around 20 hours of fasting. And nagpa-fasting ako o nag-aayuno for going 4 years now. And so far, during all those times, hindi ako nagkaroon ng problema when it comes to hyperacidity, GERD, or ang pagkakaroon ng ulcer sa chan. Bakit ganon? Bakit hindi ako nagkakaroon ng ulcer kahit para pa fasting ako? And to think na meron mga panahon that I fasted even longer. The longest fast I did was two weeks. Usually, nagpa fast about two days and sometimes three days. And depending on occasion, at least once a year, nagpa fasting ako ng one week or five days. And that is for cleansing and also rejuvenation and also for healing because fasting is actually very natural para sa ating mga tao kaya nga lang because we've been living for this times sa mga panahong ito na already bombard, bombarded with thoughts na bawal ang magutom we have been avoiding fasting akala natin bawal na talaga magutom and also we didn't know na yung panay nating pagkain pala it's actually one of the causes kung bakit merong GERD or hyperacidity because kapag parati tayo kumakain, especially if we are eating foods that are inflammatory, it is the cause of GERD and yung pananakit ng chan, yung parating parang sumasakit yung sikmura, yung parang akala mo ay nagkakaroon ka na ng ulcer because our body normally meron yung protective lining na hindi ito nasisira, hindi ito nagkakaroon ng ulcer to make a point about ulcer formation, yung acid sa ating chan is actually way more acidic than pure vinegar or yung pure na mga lemon juice. Pero bakit hindi nagkakaroon ng ulcer normally kahit pa meron yung very acidic na pH yung ating gastric acid? It's because meron yung protective lining. And that protective lining is called mucin. So parang sipon in layman's term. So that is a very thick fluid and that is the one protecting our lining, yung ating stomach lining para ito ay hindi magkaroon ng ulcer. And for people na merong GERD and hyperacidity, it's actually not because of absence of food, but because of inflammation na nawawala yung protective lining. That is why hindi actually magkukos talaga ng ulcer formation ang fasting. However, kung meron na kayong ulcer, like diagnosed case talaga na meron ng ulcer, then bawal muna mag fasting unless that that ulcer will, will first heal. So, merong mga gamot to cure those ulcer formation para mag-seal muna. Yung maganda sa ating chan, yung sa ating stomach lining ay pwede itong gumaling without causing any scarring formation. So, it can heal without any scars. At yun yung pinakamaganda when it comes to our body. Pero, kailangan muna bigyan ito ng pagkakataon for it to heal itself. So, kailangan mag-healing muna and that is by lowering the inflammation and lowering the inflammation will be through low-carb way of eating. Huwag muna kumain ng mga inflammatory foods. So, alam na natin yan, yung mga sugar, yung mga matatamis, soft drinks, cakes, and also to some extent, if you are overeating starch, if you are overeating rice, then that could still lead into possible inflammatory changes because of too much insulin in the body. So, when it comes to GERD naman and hyperacidity, kung meron kayong mga panahon that you don't feel like eating, actually, hindi nyo kailangan kumain just because you are afraid na baka magkaroon kayo ng ulcer. If you will just let it go, actually, after 30 minutes, mawawala yung sakit na yan, yung parang kirot na yan. Because your body, you just made it used to it. Pinasanay mo na may at maya ka kumakain. Pero, Ang maganda rin sa ating katawan is madali rin itong masanay and it can also get used to the way of eating na hindi parating kumakain and that way of eating could be not eating all the time. Just eating twice a day is already enough. In fact, this one is going to be my first meal and marami na. Marami na sa ating mga kasama in our low-carb and fasting lifestyle in Life Without Rice community. 
who are even doctors themselves. I know other people who are also doctors na na mo problema ng GERD and hyperacidity for the longest time. Mayat mayana sa emergency room habang nag duty kailangan muna magpa IV ng ng pantoprazole or omeprazole or whatever antacids like like ranitidine para lang maibsan yung sakit sa kanila chan but when they started fasting actually mas na tolerate na nila yung coffee mas nawala na yung sakit sa kanila yung sigmura and it's because their body is now healing and mind you yung pinaka trigger for acid secretion na nakakakos ng pagkirot ng chan is actually food so food intake is the trigger so when you're actually fasting kapag ikaw ay nakafasting mas walang stimulus into triggering the release of gastric acid so that is why yung mga nararamdaman natin na kirot when we are on our usual meal time like say for example every 6 pm na sana na yung katawan mo na yun yung panahon na kumakain ka then your body will release that gastric acid in preparation for the food pero Ang katawan natin is very intelligent na if say for example you want to start your circadian fasting at gusto mo by 5 o'clock tapos ka nang kumain by 6 o'clock even if meron pa yang pag, pag secrete ng gastric acid but if you will not listen to it wag muna especially if nararamdaman mo that you still have enough energy in your body after 30 minutes mawawala yan you can also do the salt fix so kakaunting asin lang and then you put it in your mouth, drink water, give it 5 minutes. Parang magic yan at mawawala lang. Yun yung amazing fact. When it comes to our body, hindi niya kailangang bigyan ng pagkain parate. Because the one thing there, if you will just put in a little food like yung mga panay na candy, panay mga nagkumakain ng mga kakaunting biscuits para maibsan yung gutom nila only to realize na after 1 to 2 hours ay mas lalong lumalala yung kanilang nararamdaman and yung isa sa pinaka worst part would be the increase in hyper acidity increase in gastric acid secretion during nocturnal phase kapag tulog na if kayo ay ginigising na in the middle of the night just because you have this sakit ng chan at parang pinupukaw talaga kayo and you really have to eat especially yung mga yung iba pa sinasabi na yung kailangan lang kainin ay kanin talaga then it's mostly the inflammation that is calling you so hindi nyo man kailangan mag-fasting agad-agad if you are afraid to fast especially if your doctor tells you na bawal ang fasting so you don't need to fast as well but what you can do for those with GERD and hyperacidity is try low carb muna to lower down the inflammation in your body and low carb it's not it's nothing like kailangan mo talagang isipin na very strict or very restrictive avoid mo lang yung mga usual sugary sweets and usual na mga mga matatamis, the desserts and all that, and try to focus more on real food. Focus on the safe list of JGC Rocco food list, mostly just meat and real food talaga nang walang kailangan kung ano-ano pa. And as we end that, I will show you the foods that I will eat tonight as part of my own or one meal. So this one is a buffet restaurant, so lahat pwede. So I will show you kung ano yung mga pwede natin kainin dito. So this one, pork. So, this is Chinese pork. Meron ding po and merong, I think, ano yun? Nakalimutan ko yung pangalan. Pero, puro lang siya skin. Para siyang sa young pork na mga skin. And, since this is actually a seafood buffet, pero kumuha lang ako ng pork, merong oysters. So, fresh oysters na malalaki. And then, there's also salmon. Merong salmon. Merong What's this? This is salmon, ito, lamb chops, and this one is Australian na uh, tenderloin steak. Tenderloin steak, and yung isa sa pinakamasaya dito, although it's quite pricey, pero it's worth it because they also have unlimited sashimi. So, you can have a mixed na, uh, this one is salmon sashimi, tuna sashimi, and mackerel sashimi, and meron din silang lobsters, and, and very big prawns. So, malalaki. So this one is also part of the buffet. So I think this is worth it. And also the view in here. So we are in the 81st floor. So 81 floor. Yesterday, yung ating pinuntahan was only 78th floor ba yun? 78th floor in another building. But this one is 81st floor in Bayoki Sky Hotel. So I am going to eat now. And I hope you learned something today when it comes to fasting. 
and I hope you will be able to enjoy your life without tries in the healthiest way possible. So maraming salamat everyone. I'll see you again in our next video. Remember to always stay low carb so that we all stay safe. So I'll show you one of the views here. So we are on the east side. Okay, so yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you yeah, ganda, di ba? And bye everybody. Thank you.